seven. Sam Hartman, the rookie quarterback from Notre Dame. Darts one to Kashmir Allen. He hurt. Hartman will try to keep it. And the Jets read it well with Eric Watts, the rookie out of UConn. Interesting story about Watts now. He was the highest signing bonus of any rookie down the quarterback, bringing him down. That's promising. They feel like he's a potential builder, a guy that can learn a lot in their system and really become someone productive through maybe practice squad. Second and 12. Connection made. Hartman to Rosamie Jack Saint. Well, Hartman has looked poised and looked very much like the guy that we saw at Wake Forest and Notre Dame. Went undrafted. Trying to make this team. We saw Jeff. That would have changed things for him. I know he, you know, obviously NIL changed some things for him. He went to a bigger school. I get it, you know, but it didn't really work out for Notre Dame in, uh, last season. And, you know, you always wonder, hey, is that was that the right call for him? But, again, he's extremely talented. Pitch it to Wiley. Gets the edge and nearly gets the touchdown. He's out of bounds. But that's another great feel from Hartman. The timing was very good and on point. And you can see how comfortable Hartman has been. Sermon helps. First and goal at the three for the Commanders. 11th play of the drive. Hartman in front of Wiley. Handoff. Wiley gets blockers. Wiley didn't quite get there. Short. So they're going to place it inside the one. Yeah, up front, again, defensive on the defensive side of the ball. Codrington got his body in there for New York. Second and goal. Wiley shifts to the other side. Hartman on a give, and Wiley walks in. Touchdown, Washington. Commanders take the lead here in the fourth. Yeah, just an off. So extra point from Riley Patterson trying to make this a seven-point lead for the Commanders. 11.59 mark of the fourth. Patterson connects. Touchdown for the rookie to 10. It will be Patterson kicking it off. Two returners back for New York. And this new dynamic kickoff. It is Valade. And he's brought down at the 25-yard line. Check in right now with Caroline Hendershot. Hi, and I'm sure you're a familiar backer who won Defensive Player of the Year for the Saints in 1991. But it's actually his son, Trey Swilling, who's trying to make a name for himself in this very crowded Jets cornerback room. I talked to him this week, and he told me his dad has been a big help to him both on and off the field. He told him his words of wisdom are just keep going. Keep going until someone notices your craft, and keep going until you have perfected your technique. He said hearing about his dad's hardships on and off the field throughout his career has helped him gain a new perspective on what he's going through right now. Thank you so much, Caroline. Good stuff there. Alluding to the fact that I know Pat Swilling and won. The running back is Valade. Anthony Ferkser back with the Jets in there at tight end, and that's a first down run for Valade out of Arizona State. Pick up a four. Yeah, that's a crazy part about the NFL as well, Anthony. You have no idea if you're going to be back with a team, if you get an opportunity in a new set of circumstances, alluding to Anthony Ferkser, who was in Jets training camp, got cut coming out of Harvard, Manalapan, New Jersey native, and then put together a good run in Tennessee, played with Atlanta, played with Detroit. Here he is now in his seventh year in the league. Trying to make this roster as Valade gets the carry once again for two and a half yards. You, you never burn a bridge as a player, especially early on, because it's just the journey, like you said, can be different for everybody. Coaches, as they go to different places, you know, Tony Dews was in Tennessee. He's now the running back coach. I'm sure they asked him about Furster and what he brought to the table when he was in Tennessee, you know, and he played there. So those are the things that I think come full circle for guys, is you never know with the transition. There's so many new coaches 
where guys find the place where they played with that can bring them into that roster. Changes on the offensive line. Brady Latham, rookie from Arkansas, is in. Obina Eze is in out of TCU. Soft toss. Handled by Harrell. First down. Tyler Harrell. Out of get some yards. Again, Adrian Martinez doing a nice job. We're moving the sticks here, getting a nice drive together, trying to respond from the commander scoring drive. Brandon Smith is now in there, first year from Iowa, wide receiver. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Fake the handoff. Martinez, step, throw, deep shot. It's caught. It's Smith inside the five. Lay it out for the football. Man, that's got to feel good. It's a good job, but you know, to go. In the backfield is Valade. Give it to him. And Valade is chopped down behind the line of scrimmage. Washington pressed the line, a loss of two. It was Javante John Baptiste making the tackle. Martinez hitting on the big play downfield. Now can the Jets punch it in? Down to 8-11 to play in the fourth quarter. Second and goal for New York. Shotgun. Martinez. Handoff. Valade. Tried to lunge towards the goal line. Picks up three and a half. It's third and goal. You know, since they don't have a lot of running quarterbacks with Aaron as far as traditionally pulling the ball, I wonder if they change things with eight. Adrian Martinez in runs where he can actually pull the ball out of that set and he would have kind of scooted right into the end zone there. So again, with all these different players and well, sometimes they do that on their own if they feel it uh, when they when they get that look. So now it's a Bonaconda who's in there at running back. Different look here for New York. Third and goal. Brooklyn strong. <laughs> it's a great five. An excellent opportunity to, to get the score. Austin Seibert will now kick the extra point for New York. Looking for the equalizer here. It's good. Tied at 17. And throwbacks are a nod to the Jet Sack Exchange era. Kick from Seibert. Kashmir Allen, the returner, flagged down at the 26 yard line as he is brought down at the 35. Second flag at the 44. Quantes Stiggers in on that stop on special teams. But multiple flags on the play. Brandon Cruz. Illegal formation, kicking team number 16 left early before the ball was caught. Five-yard penalty added to the end of the play. It's first down, Washington. Well, there you go, Jason Brownlee. That's going to be part of what the officials are looking for, the timing. I can do other things. I can do other things. First down, sidearm throw to Austin Jones. Flag down, Jones brought down. Jets and Washington got engaged there just a bit as... Players now back off. Officials get in between. Pass interference. Offense number 84. Ten-yard penalty. It's first down. It is Davian Davis. Pass interference call against Washington. So back it up. Original line of scrimmage was the 40-yard line. Going to place it at the 30 with 6:50 and counting left here in the fourth quarter. Love to see the, the the defense here get a good stop. Offense gets the ball back, put a nice drive together, and, and try to seal this game with a win. But again, the, these are uh, this is a great game. These are when you have a close game, players are in it. They get a chance to really show themselves off in these situations when the, when the game's on the line. And this play whistled dead. Clock hits zero. Offense five yard penalty. First down. 
Well, the operation for the Commanders had been pretty solid all day. Back-to-back -back penalties right now with Driscoll in there at QB. So we saw Hartman for an extended period. Driscoll hmm. returns yeah. for Washington. Mariota played one series. Jaden Daniels, one series at QB for the Commanders. Shotgun for Driscoll. Toss down, Driscoll. He got mauled by Leonard Taylor the third. Yeah, great job again. One on all. Walked away from it. Third down. Coming up on the five minute mark of this fourth quarter. Driscoll operating out of the gun. Driscoll underneath, catch made, Jones hemmed in by the Jets and dropped at the 34. Sermon and McCrary ball playing in the correct position. Yeah, mistakes obviously by the commanders taking advantage of the sack with Leonard Taylor and, and an easy fallback coverage here. Make them check the ball down and make the open space tackle. It's, it's a nice defensive series there for the Jets. So it's Tress Way punting to Brandon Codrington, who is standing at the Jets' 15-yard line. Way, a two-time Pro Bowler, 2019-2022. High kick. Codrington backpedals from the 12. He's got a little room to work with, but Washington closed quickly. Oh, boy. Spinning out of it. Trying to make a move to the outside. And he's tackled by Way, the punter. <laughs> it's a good job by Way. He did save the day there, but man, I, I didn't. Nobody got blocked on that play, and Cotterington did a nice job making everybody. Five yard line with Kansas State product Adrian Martinez running the offense for New York. Deion Jackson, the running back. And Jackson drives it inside run and takes it for five yards to the 30-yard line. Send it downstairs, Otis Livingston. All right, I, and I'm joined by Sauce Gardner, or is it Tiger Woods? Took up golf. You know, and around, you know, right now, you know, the main thing we talk about is taking it one day at a time because we experienced it last year, you know, and one player can be just all the way taken away from us. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know we, got, we got a lot of plays being made out here, but, you know, it's great competition and practice. You know, he made me better. I guess I still make him better, even though he didn't see every every look, you know, when it comes to defense. But yeah, obviously you're not playing today. But how are you helping those other DBs as they're trying to get out there and get acclimated to the NFL? And I was, I just be looking out here and be like, man, I remember, I remember when I was just out here my my first year. You know, it's like you get so caught on like, I'm really playing, I'm really playing NFL football, you know. And it's like, you can't think of it like that. You got to think like, I belong here, you know? So that's what I just been telling the, the younger guys, the rookies, like, y'all belong here, you know? Y'all can't, y'all here for a reason, so, yeah. Yeah, you certainly belong here. Two Pro Bowls in your first two years. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Sauce. All the best this season. All right, guys, back to you. And the completion of Brandon Smith Martinez, buying time. Tossing it downfield for 33 yards. So he's making a, uh, taking advantage of his, his opportunities. And we hit three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Jets are in Washington territory now at the 36-yard line. On a give. Valade squeezes through. Timeout called. 249 mark. Tackle made by Jamin Davis for Washington. Three-yard pickup to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Tyrod Taylor started the game for the Jets. No Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers not expected to play next week. Chance that he might see some limited action in that third preseason game against the Giants. Deion Jackson back in there. Jackson is fourth year from Duke. Played with Indianapolis, Cleveland, and the Giants on a second and seven. Toss it. Jackson. Not much there. Try to zigzag move to the outside. And it's going to bring up third down for New York.
Jets will open the regular season in San Francisco. Monday night football. That's where Nathaniel Hackett and the rest of the Jets coaching staff and Robert Sala will start things off in earnest. Down to 2.14 to play. Third and seven. Martinez from the gun. Martinez out of the pocket. Martinez tuck and run. Walks the tightrope for the first down. Good use of his wheels for 12 yards. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Seen a lot of those little details now on the last couple drives that he's done well. And again, having the mobility factor is really big for him. So nice job completing some footballs, nice throws down the field. Let's see if he can cap it off and maybe get another chance here in the end zone. Jets are in the driver's seat right now with a minute 57 left. Washington only has one timeout remaining from the 20-yard line. Valaday is dropped short of the line of scrimmage. So second down, clock is ticking, a minute 45 and counting left. If the Jets do not get a first down and end up trying a field goal, Washington would get the ball back between 20 and 25 seconds on the clock. And probably Cyber, right? He's going to get his chance to, to win a late game here as the kicker. Jets at no rush. Break the huddle with 12 on the play clock. And now ready to go with a minute 16 to go. Valaday remains in there. No opening for Valaday. Put his shoulder down, picks up a yard. That's it. Clock moving. One minute to go. Tied at 17. So it'll be third and nine here for New York. You know, preseason, some might say, hey, try it. Go for the end zone. Give it a shot. Yeah. It would stop the clock right. and give Washington <laughs> more time on the back end. I think you stick to standard procedure. Obviously, you got the game in hand. You made some big plays to get down there. Got a lot of guys with a lot of lack of experience. You don't want to put too much on their plate. Just hold on to the ball and, and keep it in field goal range. And that's what Valaday does for no gain on the play to the 19-yard line. And Washington will take the timeout. 24 Washington seconds left. Third and final timeout of the game. 30 seconds. Up, so Jets will trot out Austin Seibert. Looking to take the lead. Seibert was a fifth-round draft pick in 2019. He is kick for Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, and the Jets. Signed last year as a free agent when Zerline was dealing with an injury. Career long of 53 yards. This is going to be a 37-yard attempt. Tennessee to snap it, Morstead to hold it. Jets looking for the lead. Thirty-seven yarder, Austin Cyber. He knocks it through. Jets go in front. Twenty-one seconds on the clock. So Martinez orchestrates the drive. Jets lead twenty to seventeen. I think the procedure offensively with no injuries by any key players and uh, again nice week of practice too with the joint practice you get a lot done. The one injury Jimmy Charlo left the game with a knee injury. The rookie from Army. So now the dynamic kickoff the decision was made just boom it. And the ball does roll through the back of the end zone so. This one is coming out to the 30-yard line for Washington. 21 seconds on the clock. If you're just joining us, we're expecting to see second-round coverage of the Wyndham Championship. You can catch that right now on New York 55. Once we wrap up our broadcast here in East Rutherford, we will join that in progress. The only other option on that kickoff, and again, it's philosophical at this stage how you're going to handle things. If you keep it 
in the field of play, you do get time off the clock. So you traded off the opportunity for Washington to return it and have no time come off the clock as the commanders have it at the 30-yard line. Jeff Driscoll is in there, 21 seconds to play. Driscoll in the pocket. Skies one towards the sideline, popped up in the air, nearly intercepted. McCaffrey, the intended target, Codrington there defensively for New York. Make a good job knocking the ball away. Again, they got to take a deep shot to try to get into field goal range here. Going to be a little bit difficult, especially the fact this is, uh, you know, where you can pin your ears back as defensive line and really come off the football here. So, uh, you know, maybe one or two more snaps here to really to end this thing. But you don't want to have any pass interference. Play the football, play straight up, and you get off the field with a W. They're looking at needing about 30 yards just to get a legitimate field goal attempt off. A throw. Handled inbounds at the 35. Clock ticking away. Five seconds, four seconds. Trying to get organized. One second. They spiked it. But did they run out of time? Are they going to put one second on the clock is the question. When the ball hit the ground, there was one second left. One second on the game clock, please. So the answer is yes. One second remaining. Oof. Close. <laughs> so desperation time. Jets and four players deep. Flat down. False Offense start. Number 64. Gonna make it tougher. Penalty. It's third down. Mason Brooks. Now, think about this defensive look here, which is crazy, right? We don't want to score, so get back to the end zone. Is if you can get two receivers to wrap over the top of these two guys, catch one and flip it to the other. They got some room to run, but obviously you're going to have to beat four guys convergent to you. So, you know, let's see if we get something interesting here. How deep they are in the playbook. Not very deep, obviously. <laughs> and that ball was mishandled, and the game is over. The Jets win it on a late field goal. Thank you. 